Hello everyone, it's Miros and today we'll do a different but very interesting test. We'll compare Google Pixel 1 versus Google Pixel 8 Pro. We'll see how Android evolved over these years, how far they are now and uh, where they was before 8 years. And at the end we'll see Pixel 1 is still usable in 2023 or it's necessary to upgrade. Of course you can see here is my friend the first Android phone ever and this is HTC G1. It will stay just uh, here on that side just to support Pixel 8 Pro but this is the father of every Android device right now you are using. So without further ado let's start. Okay guys let's first start with a simple boot test. The devices are turned off and now I will start them and we'll see which one will boot first. And you can see Pixel 1 is just booted up, not uh, far behind Pixel 8 Pro and I just don't expect to be so quick, but it is. Alright, after they are booted up and ready, let's check now the versions. Let's go in settings here and here too. And you can see them on Android 10, Android 14. Sadly, updates for Pixel 1 are already discontinued so it won't receive any updates uh, soon or ever just this was the last update and android security patch level is from 6th of october 2019 here of course it's uh, actual from 5th of october 2023 the test will be very simple first i just uh, prepare here some applications which uh, i will start uh, launching in sequence first will be photos calculator clock and so on this is the smallest uh, Pixel device when they launch it. This is Pixel 1, not uh, Pixel 1 XL. It is using a 5 inch uh, display. Here we have uh, 6.7 inches AMOLED screens for both. Keep in mind I changed the screen for this guy here because it uh, was cracked and uh, also the battery was changed. It's still not good but I changed the battery so it can last until I uh, make this video. Here we have a Google Tensor uh, G3, the freshly new chipset from Google and here we have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 821 which is uh, 14 nanometer and here we have 4 nanometer CPU. Here we have 12 gigabytes of RAM with uh, 256 uh, gigs of internal storage and here we have only 4 gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of internal storage. So we'll check the RAM management, how it goes. And without further ado, let's just start the test. First, I will open Photos. I will launch uh, all of these applications and after that, I will relaunch them. So we'll check uh, which one of these, these two is uh, doing a better job with the RAM management. All right, let's open first Photos. Okay, it's launching now. Let's start with the calculator. I will do a simple calculation here. Okay, let's open clock. And I will start a stopwatch here. Let's open camera and snap a shot. Night mode is enabled here and here it's straight all right let's open chrome and open a web page here this one from notebook check okay let's open play store now you can see that uh, Google Pixel 1 is uh, doing a great job, it's not lagging at all, animations are very good, even I can say in some situations they are better than the Pixel 8 Pro. You can see when you start scrolling here, how smooth is Pixel 1, very very capable device for 2023. Alright, let's go and open maps. Alright. Let's open Gmail. And YouTube. All 
let's go to my web page youtube channel and now let's open instagram of course it's lower here on the pixel one let's open that video and now let's move to subway surfers it's launching faster here of course but Pixel 1 is still doing a great job, I can say. For such an old device, this is an 8th generation comparison. Pixel 8 Pro versus Pixel 1 and you can see Pixel 1 is doing a great job so far. Alright, the game is starting. Let's go to home screen. And now let's open that widget. You can even check the animations. They are very smooth. I like how this device is doing over the years. Let's play that song. You can see the animations. Let's do it one more time. Very very nice and smooth animations. I will now repeat the process and we will check every application. Let's open photos. It is ok. Let's open calculator. It's ok, not relaunched. Let's open clock. It's still counting the stopwatch. Let's open camera. And let's rotate it to selfie. Alright. Now it's time to move to Chrome. Chrome is still not relaunched here. You can see I'm on the same web page. Uh, notebook check. Let's move to Play Store and it's still not relaunched here. Let's open Maps. Now Maps, it's uh, relaunched but it is going to the same place where I left it before I close it. Let's open Gmail. Still not relaunched, very good. Let's open YouTube. Again, it's on my uh, page. So it's doing very good job. Let's open Instagram. And again it's still on the same video. A very very nice. Let's open Subway Surfers and you can see. Alright. And I'm dead here. And let's go to our home screen. And now guys I will launch. Let's launch again here. It's still on the same place. A very very good job uh, coming from Pixel 1. I'm surprised so far and now it's time guys to start this Geekbench 6. And we can run the CPU benchmark and see the results. Keep in mind probably this test will take around 20 minutes to finish on Pixel 1. But I will do it for the sake of the test. Let's just launch it and wait it to finish. And here we are, the results are ready, we can see here the benchmark results and here too the difference is very big, the gap is very big but it was expected. The benchmark test uh, took uh, around 20-21 uh, minutes here for Pixel 1 and 7 minutes for Pixel 8 Pro and I will not comment the results, you can see them. This is the evolution of the CPUs and everything uh, in Android devices. Alright guys, let's now move to the home screen and do one more run so we can see which uh, app is still running in the background and you can see almost uh, around 22-3% of battery drop we have here until we are running this Geekbench test. Alright, let's start with the run, let's open first the photos. It's closed or relaunched here and it's relaunched here again. So guys, this was the end of the video, but we can clearly see that Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro and Pixel 1, I will count that as a win for Pixel 1 because it is still usable in 2023. So guys, 
Thanks for watching and if this video helps you somehow, don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my videos. Have a nice day.